Hey guys, so sorry for the absence. Um, if you haven't read my blog, I've actually been quite sick and I just haven't been able to um, really film like film any videos. And when I've been feeling a bit better, um, I haven't had time because, well, my final my finals like start in a few weeks, and also I've got lots of essays and stuff to do before then. So I kind of haven't had time. Um, and yeah, like I said, I haven't been feeling very well, so I haven't wanted to put makeup on to film a video. But due to my absence, I have kind of accumulated quite a few things um, that I haven't showed you yet. So I'm going to do that today. Um, so if I look like a bit of a mess, I've literally just got off the train from London. So anyway, <laughs> so let me start. I don't know where to start. Okay, so I'll start with makeup. So, first of all, hmm. Okay, I've got four new polishes. Um, the first one is the infamous model's own Indian Ocean. You can see how pretty that is, hopefully. All the duochrome in it. Um, really pretty. I've actually got that on one of my fingers. Maybe I'll take a picture. Next one is Nails Ink, which I got with InStyle magazine. And it's this colour and that's what I'm wearing on the rest of my fingers and under the Indian Ocean on this. Um, I think it's called Powder Pink or something, but I got it free with InStyle magazine. Um, and there's three colours available. I blog post about this briefly. Um, and I got one of the other colours. I think this is in something peach or peach something. And that looks like that. It's quite a nice light colour, it's not like the average peach and I've actually swatched these so hopefully you can see that um, and I'll show you the Indian Ocean one in a second then um, in Bath they were doing this thing called the student lock-in uh, where in the main centre, like the main shopping centre they had the shop open until 10 p.m., which is really nice because they usually open until like 6:30. Um, and there was like an average of about 20% discount off if you had a student card. Um, so I went into Debenhams and I got a Nails Ink nail jewelry because I saw these on some of the blogs and they're so pretty. And I got that in Sapphire. If you can see that so pretty it has like hexagonal huge bits of glitter and small bits of glitter and I swatched those Indian Ocean and those and the nails ink one there hopefully you can see that um what's next so I guess I'll just continue on with the student lock-in um I went to Topshop and I picked up two things. The first things are a pair of shoes which I've been lusting up after for ages. Basically one of my flatmates has them and every time I ask her where she gets them from, every time she wears them I'm like, oh I want those. And the only pair left in black, the other ones were nude and I didn't think they'd suit my skin tone. The only pair left in black were in my size. Well they are these um, black, what do you call them, like loafers with spikes on them, yay. I think they're so cute. Anyway, so those were like originally 28 and I can't remember how much they were, but you can do the math if you want to. So that's that. And then I got one other thing from Topshop, which are these ridiculous earrings. Now, before I show you them, Caroline or Beauty Fix 101 also happened to buy these and they're so ridiculous. Like not many people would buy these because they are so ridiculously big and outrageous. And it's hilarious that we um <laughs> that we ended up buying them because I watched her video like literally just after I came back and I was like oh my god I've bought those so <laughs> we were talking on Facebook about it. Well they are these huge like obnoxious um cross earrings and they're huge and these were originally ten pounds and show you how big they are. Let's put them in my second hole. I already have the earrings in. How amazing are they? I think I could only wear them with my hair down though. So if I wore them with my hair up, I think it would be a little too much. But what, you tell me, tell, you can guys can tell me what you think of them. I think they're quite epic. But yes, 
and they're not too heavy either which is nice so yeah those were originally 10 pounds down to like eight or something um so that's all i got in the student locket no i'm not no it's not i got one more thing in h&m i'm lying sorry i saw this really cute clutch um which i thought was perfect this spring it's this amazing turquoise color this navy blue tassel um and it was originally 12.99 i think it was like 10 quid um gold chain i think it's really fun for spring i'm not sure about the tassel but if i wanted to i'd just get rid of the tassel but yeah it's one of those ones that has a zip there and then you open it like that okay. and again you can take the chain off if you want so, yeah i love that okay moving on um makeup makeup oh i have one more thing of jewelry i wanted just some plain silver cross earrings because i have those huge gold ones i just wanted like some normal size ones so i ordered some from asos but when they came they're white and i'm not too sure how i feel about the white ones i don't know if i'm gonna go i don't know if i'm gonna buy some silver ones as well um but that's like that and those are kind of those size in compared to those so that's that okay makeup um i picked up the bourgeois dissolvent miraculous or miracle or something french i'm not sure um and it's the one second um nail polish remover and you just stick your oh it's english on this side you just stick your finger in kind of turn it around it's supposed to just get rid of your nail polish really quickly so i'm really excited to try this people have been raving about this then i picked up two of the maybelline pink uh, like popsicle lip products which look like this really obnoxious bright neon packaging i picked up two i picked up 060 which is citrus slice they don't come off that colour. You can see how they're like see-through. Um, if you've seen the Topshop lip product from their recent collection called Crystal, then it's the same kind of um, concept. And the other one is called Pink Lollipop, and this is like a dupe for Crystal, if you missed out on it or if you want a cheaper version. I've swatched them on my blog. The post isn't up yet, but it'll be up within the next few days comparing it to crystal as well so that's lollipop that's citrus um so that's kind of nice um they have a really sickly smell to them i'm not feeling the smell anyway then on my way to london i popped into superdrug because for some reason there's two superdrugs in bath but none of them sell sleek so and i wanted to pick up that some of their ooh la la liners so I picked up three, I've swatched these on my blog already. I picked up Coco, which I'm wearing today, and it seemed to have lasted fairly well. It hasn't lasted on my waterline though, so. Coco. Um, white Noise, which is a white, and it's nice because it's not pearl, it's just a plain white. I don't want a pearl white line, I've been looking for a normal white one for ages. And a black, which is just called Noir and so far i'm liking these um they come in loads of colors like ridiculous colors so i'll probably be picking some more up um and also while i was in superdrug i picked up the illegal length mascara from maybelline because i felt like trying out a new mascara and the one looks like that so it's a fibers in it that it's supposed to extend your lashes by up to four ml i just realized it has like Russian writing there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's so weird. Whereas on the other side, it's in English. Strange. Um, then I have a few random things. I ordered two bracelets from Love, um, Love Hearts and Crosses. Just two friendship bracelets. Because I'm really liking that look at the moment. And these were like three pounds each or something. Plus they're doing a 20% discount if you use the code JOLIE20, like it's in Jolie box. Um, so I picked those up. I swear I ordered three things from there, but I can't 
for the life of me remember what the other one was. So, and then when I was in Sainsbury's, I picked up one of these mini S shaped files, the one that's made for traveling. And I think they're awesome. I think that's really clever. They're going to be out in boots by the end of the month, I believe, but they're just, at the moment, they're only in Sainsbury's. By a guy that won The Apprentice or something, I don't know. Anyway, so I picked up one of those, that's really handy to put my keys. Um, and then finally, oh no, there's two things. Um, I blogged about the glossy box this month, which I loved, but if you remember, I got an empty eyeliner box, which was this, at number seven graphite. And I can't remember what date we got the glossy box on. I have a feeling it was not last Thursday, but the Thursday before. So I emailed them on the Thursday night, or the Friday morning, I can't remember. Anyway, there's my empty box. And they got back to me really quickly saying, okay, we'll send you out a new one. And when I came back today, um, it was here. So they sent me, it's actually a different color, but I don't really mind. Because the first time around they sent me graphite, and, you know. This time they sent me purple minks. Which is cool. That actually has something in it. Yay. So that's good. It's hmm, a nice colour. Um, so yeah, I'm glad they got back to me quite quickly. They sent it second class post. So I th that's why I think it took so long. But they did get back to me within like 24 hours. So that was quite good. Um, I keep saying the last thing, but then I remember I have more stuff. Um when I went okay this is a long story but it's not really okay <laughs> okay many of you will know that I got a new camera for my birthday and no it's not my birthday yet my birthday is on the 27th of May um, but I won't actually see my parents again until or at least my mum until like the 1st of June so I've already got my birthday present it's a Canon 600D anyway so I needed to order a camera case for it and I ordered it and I was waiting for it to come and then I realised once I got the dispatch email that it had been sent to my house in Kent, in London, rather than here. I don't know why, for some reason Amazon changed my default address. Anyway, so I had to go home and pick this up. It's a huge box, because they're quite big, right? I had to bring this all the way back with me. Didn't fit in my suitcase, I had to get another bag. It was just ridiculous. Anyway, I also ordered some, um, anyway so this is the case I got I believe it was like 24 pounds or something it's by Loa Pro it's a big boy but that's okay um, it has a ridiculous amount of pockets which I love um, you can have it just like this you can just shoulder strap um, it's really secure like it has a clip and then it has a zip there's the compartments in there you know place for your memory cards everything and then what I thought was really cool is it has well, it has another pocket there but under here under that pocket whew, this is supposed to be made for all weather and it has like its own little raincoat in here because <laughs> it's made for all weather it's amazing because I'd be so upset if I got caught in the rain with my new baby. So I'm really excited about this. This is really nice. And like I said, I ordered some screen protectors for the screen. Came in the envelope. So last but not least, I have some really exciting news. Um, Travelo, if you don't know Travelo, it's those little perfume atomizers. They were kind enough to send me um, one of their Travelo XL atomizers. Um, to review, which I'll be doing either today or tomorrow, I'll be filming that. Um, but what I did is I bought another one, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway of this. Um, I'll be announcing the giveaway when I do my review, um, but so look forward to that. The one I'm giving away is really cute one. This is the XL version, so it's bigger than the original, um, and it's red and gold. So look out for that, that'll be coming your way very shortly. So I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, sorry again for my absence, but I'll try and pick up the pace. I'm sure I'll be doing it as a way of procrastinating anyway. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.